boating is finally over and we've had a huge amount of fantastic entries again this year. Uh, but here we are in Dundee with this year's Games Room of the Year winner, Ryan Patterson. Congratulations, Ryan. Well done. Much, fantastic room that you have here. Thank you very much. So, uh, tell us a little about this uh, fantastic room of yours. Basically, it was an idea I had that I had a lot of memorabilia, all of Dundee FC memorabilia that I'd like to store somewhere and I just thought, I've been collecting shirts for a lot of years and I just, I thought I just needed somewhere that I could uh, store them or I could show them, showcase them sort of if you like. There's, uh, there's, there's quite, a bit of, quite a bit of memorabilia in there. There is, here. yeah. Um, anything that, that sort of stands out for you and is there any favourite piece? Yeah, there's a few favourite pieces. I've got uh, the Sporting Post, which was a local newspaper from the day that Dundee won the league in 1962. Which was a, a very big thing for the club. There's yeah. a couple of old bits yeah, in the room. I've got a, a League Cup final programme from the last time Dundee won a trophy from 15th of December 1973. We beat Celtic at Hamden Park, and that, like I say, is the last time we won a trophy. So that's a programme. It's my dad's programme from that day. He was at the match and brought that in. He's oh, awesome. kept it all these years, and it's, it's up there now. Good to see you. The, the Dairy Bar, as it's called. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you came to name it? Yeah, so at, the, at Dens Park, which is the home of Dundee Football Club, um, there's obviously four stands. One of the stands where I sit, where my grandfather sat, my dad sat, dad still sits, I sit, my son sits, is called the Derry. The fans call it the I Derry. See. I've actually got a picture of it getting built up there. For, I think it was built in 1960 or 61. They put the enclosure over it and it's still, unfortunately, it looks like that to this day. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about how you how you built the room. Did you have much help? Draft people? Yeah, well I had a few but I had a few people helping us with different trades, but I would say most of the thing was probably done myself. I'm a, I'm a joiner to trade. I designed it all myself and then built built the space myself as well. So perfect background for it. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. No wonder it came out so well. <laughs> Thank you. So how long how long did it actually take? Um, I would say possibly about six months from start to finish but I was actually just I was only working on one day a week I was working on a Sunday with going to the Dundee games on a Saturday I only really had a Sunday to do it so over the course of six months uh, probably made from quite start a bit to finish of progress then just I did, one, yeah. one day a week I had I had help from my, my son helped he chipped in with a few things my dad helped us quite a lot as well and there was other trades there was painters involved there was electricians involved but apart from then then I, I pretty much done it all myself but yeah I, Six months, I suppose, isn't, isn't too long. So, what we've got in the room, we've got sort of a dartboard, we've got the pool table, we've yeah. got all your memorabilia in there. Um, do you get much chance to, to use the room? Yeah, I do, yeah, I use it. We have a lot of family and friends over and, like, put up to watch football and on the screen, we'll watch a lot of football. Uh, I would say the most person that gets the use out of it is my son. He's just come up for 17, so he gets a, a lot of his pals over at the weekend and they, they seem to enjoy it. So, he ends up hogging it, doesn't he? He does, yeah, he does. Just my daughter uses it a fair bit as well. These actually fold down into to beds as well. So if she's a sleepover, she'll maybe have a few friends in here and they'll, they'll have a movie night as well. So oh, it gets crap. good use then as well, yeah. With that in mind then, the fact that you've won, mm -hmm. um, £3,000 coming so, your way. Uh, probably. Is there any more plans to...? There's a few little additions I'd like to add in. No, I'll still have money left over. I'd maybe like to recloth the pool table, maybe get a dark blue to obviously match the dark blue shirts. And maybe a, a light around the, the dartboard, it'd be a nice, nice halo light around the dartboard. But apart from that, I think my wife's got more plans for the money than me. So, you, you might not win that argument. <laughs> no. Okay, fair enough. Okay, well, congratulations again. Thank um, you very much. Fantastic room that you've got here, thoroughly deserved winner. Yeah, thank um, you. Really, uh, just hope everything goes well when you get your table re-clothed and you <laughs> manage to go ahead and win that argument. Brilliant, thank you, man. Okay, well done, Ryan. Brilliant, thank you very no much. No worries at all.